Hello everybody, this is Chocolates1000 reporting for duty, welcoming you back to more Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time. Learn when to land on the pipe in the intro next time, Luigi. Right, in the last episode, we managed to enter Princess Peach's castle in the past, for the very first time. And we got ambushed by a few enemies, but it was no surprise, because we managed to kill them, get some experience, leveled up the babies, and just basically got a lot of items. We also managed to get the ulti free badge by farming a bit of beans. After realizing there was actually one bean spot, I forgot to dig up in Thwomp's volcano, in Thwomp Cavern. So this episode, you can see just how ridiculously big this maze is in Peach's Castle in the past. Yeah, uh, this is going to be um, a whole deja vu here. Because there is a block over here you need to hit. We cannot hit it. So you need to explore everywhere in Princess Peach's castle in the past in order to get to where you need to go. And with all these enemies lurking around, that's going to be really, really hard because there's going to be many, many occasions where you're going to be interrupted. There's a bean spot right over there guarded by a snooze orb, but he was snoozing on the job. No pun intended, because then again, it was the kind of state obvious. Uh, but, yeah, there are actually beans for us to be found in this area. You need to search this empty. Yeah. Nice and deep. Okay, fake out attack. Fake out attack again. And you're gone. Nice easy battle. Got an ultra drop. No big deal. Now let's get out of this place. Right, so we can go down now. There's a coin dispense block. Great. Like we need any more coins. Oh, 34, not bad. Okay. <laughs> I'll definitely take that lightly. Right then, so obviously you can tell there are little platforms over here that have an item box. You can try all you like of bringing the babies up there. There's no way you can get them up. So you're going to have to memorize these platforms for later on. So... Just take note of the whole entire area and you should be good. Right then, so we got copy flower. Oh god. Okay, uh yeah. Nearly fell for a trap then. And there we go. 100 coin dispenser blocks are now in this area. Oh that oh god. Ah, poor Luigi. Yeah, I'm not doing this based on the fact that we actually avoid getting experience for the birds now for the babies. It's because I didn't actually want to fight them. Oh, space trousers! Oh! That's actually a rare item because there's actually an enemy found in um, Peach's Castle in the past that actually do drop those things. Is it? Oh, uh, wait. Is it? Oh. Never mind, I'm mistaken. I'm completely wrong. There isn't an there isn't an enemy in here that's dropped space trousers. But anyway, they're for the bros. Just look how much they actually increase Mario's stats compared to the star trousers. And comparing it to the royal trousers, yeah, they make them look like a joke. They raise Luigi's power by 30. Defense by 10 and stash by 20, but for Mario, raises power by 15, defense by 35, and stash by 20. You better want to recruit that to Mario. 
So Luigi, not getting two pairs of pants in two in the span of two episodes. Uh, right, let's get the babies out of there. Uh, oh, really? You know what? That's the easiest way to actually avoid enemies. And we got three ultra drops in that one. And two more copy flowers. And we got one more. Oh, two more actually. Okay. Two red peppers. Why are they always dropping the babies on the side that's got the island box? I don't get that. Right, this is the last one. 100 coins and two one up supers. Okay, we've cleared up this side. Let's have a look on the other side now. Oh, oh, God! New enemy. This is the enemy that everybody hates. They are the faster and more aggressive of soul bubbles and with the soul bubbles I'm not even gonna attack it we're gonna attack the shroob rex yeah uh, as you can pretty much tell what his counter attack is going to be for that one uh, so yeah the shroob rex has a rare drop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposely not let Luigi do an attack Yeah, uh, by the way, you actually want to attack the Soul Bubble when he does that attack, because otherwise he gets a little bit chaotic. Uh, right. What we're going to do is, we are going to use a Pocket Jump. I'm focusing right here because I want to make sure I do not mess this up. Ah, frick! I pressed X immediately thinking it was a good idea. So, yeah. It's... Wait. I've never seen that attack before. I am not joking, I've never seen that attack before. Ah, damn it. Alright, alright, alright. Right, green shell, get rid of the shrew rex. There we go. Now, you're probably thinking now, with the soul bubble on its own, what could be an issue with the soul bubble? They resurrect the dead. Yep. Not kidding. They resurrect the dead. To the exact point of the amount of HP that they had before they died last time, roughly. So, let's use an ice flower... There we go. And for our trouble. Hey! On the first try! Yes! The Shroob Rex has a 15% chance of dropping the 100 point pants. These are really good items to have. I mean, so, um, I'm surprised I actually got a trampoline out of that fight. I mean... We battled one Soul Bubble, one Shroob Rex. And in my documents here, it says the Shroob Rex has a 15% chance of dropping a mixed flower, not a trampoline. So, I'm guessing that information that I actually genuinely got from the internet is wrong. You actually get trampolines from the Shroob Rex, not the mixed flower. 
But anyway, we got the most important thing. We got the 100 point pants. And we battled every single new enemy in the area apart from one. But the fact is, that enemy can be really hard to find if you know, know my drift. So, 100 point pants. Oh, for the babies, obviously. Look at that! They raise all stats by at least 20. Every single stat. Apart from Baby Mario's defense being like um, 25. But Baby Luigi's, look at that. It raises power by 10. It raises defense by 25. It raises speed by 20. Stats by 20. HP by 20. You better want to equip that to him. Yeah, really, really good to know. And in case you're wondering, Shroob Rexes can only fight alongside with other enemies. They are not found legit in the open area. And they are commonly known to fight with Soul Bubbles. So if you want to try and get yourself another pair of 100 point pants, then by all means, go ahead. Try and get yourself another pair of 100 point pants. Let's use the mixed flower. Oh, got my arm cracked then. Okay, we managed to um, get rid of that. At least I was ready for the timing on that one. Uh, right, let's do Ice Lower this time. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> okay, no 100 point pens that time. But, at least we got the whole chest. I'm not really like going to go into that area in the bottom left hand corner just yet. Reason why? Because of this. Rare footage of jumping on the rare soul bubble. Alright, uh, let's do it again. Mixed flower time. Oh god. I recovered it. I recovered it. My arm's gonna crack again. Okay. We got the burn on the Shroob Rex. And. Yeah, we'll waste the pocket jump. Didn't get it that time either. Actually, no, hang on, now think about it. Shroob Rexes can. How did he get back attacking me there? Ah, frick. Um, right, okay. But yeah, Shroob Rexes can also fight with another enemy, and I think you can tell what it's gonna be. That attack is impossible. Yeah, that attack is impossible to dodge when the Shroob Rex is in his max health. Well, sorry, max height, sorry. And getting it muddled up. So, if you want to kill the Shroob Rex, make sure you um, weaken him down first. Okay, mix flower again. Yeah, nothing could have been done about that. Uh, right then, smash egg time. There we go. Nothing from the egg. 
exactly the same result again. At least I'm happy I got the 100 point pants on my very first try. At least I'm happy about that. Okay, um, oh, another soul bubble. That's it, hit it bright, hit it early. Uh, yeah, mixed flowers once again. Slowing down, I slow down big time then. Um, yeah, sure, bro, flower. Hey, another bear, nice. <laughs> and I think that was actually the last one we was going to be able to fight for quite a while, actually. But there we go. We got a pair of 100 point pens for both bros. Both babies, that is. Go figure that we only had the royal pants go on for exactly um, 15 minutes, roughly. Oh, God. Okay, one of super. Oh, another soul bubble. Hey! Uh, right. Do you know what? Now let's fight them the legit way. Ah, bugger. Okay, uh, do you know what? Screw it. Bro flower. Get rid of those soul bubbles. Wow, that hardly did any damage to them. And they both decided to heal that one true Rex. Oh, okay, that was another attack they had. They have access of doing a ground pound attack. At least we've got a chance to see it. Not on my watch, buddy. Uh, right, bro flower once again, because apparently it didn't kill them. Well, then again, it was the babies throwing in, not the bros. Why are you heating him up? He hasn't even taken any damage! Whoa! Ah, oh, dang. Yep, yeah, some attacks I've actually not learned about. I didn't think that the rock was going to do that. Ah, <laughs> you know what's good? Just end this off already. There. <laughs> oh, whoops. Oh, good camera collision. <laughs> Oh wow, we actually got another pair. <laughs> we got another pair of 100 point pants! Oh, the, yeah. We kinda had a problem there, camera issue. There we go, plus 6 in HP.
Ah, day too early. Uh, right. Scheduling in by save block because I need to catch my breath now. So, we've explored the entire bottom floor so far of Peach's castle of the past. We've managed to grab three pairs of 100 point pants when we only needed to get two. The second pair was actually kind of a pain in the backside to get, though, I will admit. But anyway, we saved the game now. That's all we got time for this episode. Next time on Mario and Luigi, Partners in Time, we are going to be doing something to find out how to um, get this block out from its crystal pedestal. Because I believe... From the way how everything has been set up with those um, lamp barriers on both sides of the corner, as you can see, roughly um, there, 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 and there. Something tells me about them, we are going to be copying a mechanic of Gritzy Desert. See you guys then.